Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you have a great morning this morning. It is Saturday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. I had a hard time getting this one started. I tried it three or four times, and I was just screwing up my words and everything else. And Maybe it's not meant to be, but maybe it's going to be good. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I want to share with you, um, I think it's eight uh, awesome new finds, album finds. These are not vinyl, these are CD finds. Uh, I haven't purchased vinyl since the end of December. I'm just finding it really too expensive. And I'm getting into more box sets and remastered stuff. And um, I'm relying on Amazon for a lot of my uh, purchases because it's just too damn cold to get out and, and take. And I'm not a fan of the cold. So anyway, I hope you don't mind. These are all going to be CDs. Uh, but some fantastic, fantastic stuff. So let's get into it. Um, great album finds. Right off the bat, uh, this is the U.S. debut, original release in 1965, of this uh, fantastic album from this fantastic band. This is the Zombies. Again, their U.S. debut album. Uh, this is... Uh, through 2003 re-release from uh, Varez Vintage. Okay. Uh, amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, great British band formed way back in 1961 by Rod Argent, of course, who went on to form Argent, another favorite of mine. And uh, Glenn Blundstone. The guys, these guys were included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2019. Well-deserved. Uh, still active today, obviously under a different lineup. Um, 1965 release again features the big, big, big hit, uh, She's Not There. And that's what they toured on, uh, the uh, number two hit it became. And uh, their other um, big single, Tell Her No. You got Connell Blundstone on lead vocals, Chris White on bass, Paul Atkinson on electric guitar, Rod Argent on keyboards and lead guitar. Uh, sorry, lead vocal. Wow. Key, see, I'm screwing it up. Keyboards on lead vocals and Hugh um, Grundy on drums. Amazing stuff. Um, the booklet, uh, cool little booklet, um, gives a explanation of the album itself and um, kind of... Uh, they were part of the British invasion, but they, they were outside of that. It says, unlike some of their fellow invaders who cut one loaded album after another, the zombies uh, value quality over quantity. So they uh, relied on um, um, making every song a great song rather than just put out a dozen albums. Um, but, um, yeah. But what a great band, great album. And uh, happy to have it, my in my collection for sure the zombies she's not there ah uh, this next one amazing amazing stuff by this irish blues guitarist uh jimmy hendrix thought he was a great great guitarist uh this is mr rory gallagher or gallagher i've never understood how to pronounce his last name uh, this is Deuce. Deuce is the second album uh, released by uh, Rory um, way back in 71. Uh, live recordings in the studio. He wanted to capture uh, his live performance in the studio. Uh, it's raw. It's blues driven. Uh, Rory's vocals sound so good. His guitar work sounds amazing. Um, yeah, just... You, you can just tell how good he was. And we lost him way, way too early. At, I think 47. I got uh, Gary uh, McAvoy on bass and uh, Wilger uh, Campbell on drums. Again, this is the 50th anniversary of this fantastic, fantastic album. I kept the hype sticker on here as well. Two CD set. Um, you've got uh, not only the original album... Um, but you also have a bunch of alternative takes and um, some live performances, some radio performances as well. But uh, yeah, used to be I'm not uh, awake yet. 
I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I will. A whole lot of people in your town should have uh, learned my lesson. There's a light out of my mind and uh, crest of a nave, or crest of a wave, sorry. But uh, what a great, great album this is. Uh, 2022 remix of the original album. 16 previously unreleased alternative recordings and radio sessions forwarded by John Marr and mastered in Abbey Road Studio. Uh, comes with a, uh, a cool booklet as well with some, there he is there. And uh, yeah, just goes through and tells uh, the workings of each track and the alternative takes. And um, yeah, he he was great, and um, I want to get more from him for sure. I want to get more from him, but uh, so happy to have this great, great album, Deuce, second studio album. So so good. Um, I discovered this next band through. I will show one vinyl. <laughs> I've already shown this a, a bunch of times. This is. Um, this is Green Slate. This was a, a, a blind buy. Picked it up not knowing uh, what it was about. Uh, I picked it up for the cover. Um, and uh, this is a uh, Roger Dean cover, by the way. Uh, so, you know, it's it's got to be good. Uh, it turned out they're a great English progressive rock band. A keyboard-driven band. There's no guitar uh, in, in this whatsoever. It's all keyboards. Uh, formed way back in 72 by uh, Dave Greenslade, hence the name Greenslade. Um, you got, uh, um, yeah, Tony, uh, bassist uh, Tony Reeves, keyboardist Dave Lawson, and, and Andrew McCulloch on drums. And this was their debut uh, way back in 73. I was so impressed by, uh, by this, I ordered... And I love the cover of this one. This is just a fantastic, fantastic cover. This looks like a video game cover or something. Uh, this is um, Time and Tide. Look at the cover on that one. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, this is their uh, fourth studio album, 1975 release. Again, I kept the hype sticker on, on here. Uh, this is uh, a newly remastered and expanded two, two CD edition of this classic album from 1975 with two bonus tracks previously unreleased on CD. Features a bonus CD of a previously unreleased entire live performance from the Swedish radio show Tonk Raft from March 1975. And the booklet also features a new essay with exclusive interviews with Dave Greenslade and Dave Lawson. Um, there's the CDs there. Um, yeah, what a what a great band. Um, unique sounding. Uh, you know, I'm used to guitar driven bands, um, but uh, these guys these guys make it sound good. These guys make it sound good, and uh, happy to have this band now in my collection. Why I waited so long to discover these guys, who knows? Um, but I'm glad I did. Look at that cool backdrop there. Um, yeah, what a great album. What a great album. Again, you've got CD1, Animal Farm, Newsworth, Time, Tide, uh, Catalan, The Flattery Stakes, Waltz for a Fallen Idol, The Ass's Ear, um, Dole Drums, Gangsters, and then you got bonus tracks, um, Catalan, Catalan, sorry, single to edit, and Rubber Face and Lonely Eyes. Then you got CD2, which is a Swedish radio concert, 1975, with uh, Pilgrim's Process, Newsworth, Flattery Stakes, uh, Bedside Manners, Our Extra, um, Joy de Vivre, sorry, Joy de Vivre, uh, my, my French isn't that great, uh, Walls for a Fawn Lyle, The Ass's Ears, uh, Drum Folk, and Spirit of the Dance, by the great Green Slade, and... Um, where this was uh, the Swedish radio concert included, I picked up Live in Stockholm. Another cool cover. Live in Stockholm, March 10th, 1975. 
another great live album recorded live uh, March 10th, 75 at Studio 4 uh, Radio Husset in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, you got the Pilgrim's Progress, Newsworth, the Flattery Stakes, Bedside Manager Extra, um, Joy de Viva, Walls for Fallen Idol, The Ass's Ear, Drum Folk, and Spirit of the Dance. You got Green, uh, Dave Greenslade on keyboards, Dave Lawson on vocals and keyboards, Martin Briley on bass, and Andrew McCulloch on drums. Yeah, so Greenslade, great progressive rock band. And uh, it does come with a, there's the band there. Again, a unique sound. Um, but uh, after listening, you don't miss the guitars with this band. Um, the, the keyboards fill in everything. Um, that you uh, that you need. It's the 2013 release of this uh, great 1975 album. Um, next, uh, I've already shown you this cool box set from Cactus, uh, featuring their first four albums, as well as uh, four um, live CDs uh, by the Great American. Rock band uh, led by the wonderful drummer Carmine Apiece. He's so, so good, man. He's so good. From 1970 to 1972. Uh, they went into a bit of a hiatus. In 2006, they put out this uh, fantastic fifth album, Cactus Five. A um, bit of a different lineup. Um, but uh, um, still a rockin', rockin' album. I love it. I've shown you this one as well. Uh, well, I found um, I found this one. This is uh, this is uh, their most recent um, album called Tightrope. Man, <laughs> you want straight ahead rock? You want a straight ahead rock album? This is the album to get. It is fan freaking tastic. Um, yeah, it's just a fine rock and roll album. Uh, it's 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 uh, raw. Carmine piece has not sounded better. They really brought the drums up to make it sound good. Um, you've got uh, uh, Jimmy Coons on lead and background vocals uh, from Savoy Brown. What an amazing vocalist he is. You got uh, Paul Warren on guitar, piano, and background vocals. Co lead vocals on Papa Was a Rolling Stone. They do a fantastic cover of Papa Was a Rolling Stone, by the way. Uh, Jimmy Caputo on bass and Randy Pratt on harmonica. Um, Jim Bacardi is featured on this one. Uh, Heading for a Fall and Wear It Out. Um, Jim Bacardi, a fantastic uh, guitarist with these guys for the longest time. You got Tightrope, Papa Was a Rolling Stone, All Shook Up. Poison in Paradise, Third Time Gone, Shake That Thing, Primitive Touch, Preaching Woman, Man Blues, Evolution, um, sorry, Elevation, Elevation, Sweet One and Two, Everlong, All the Man Man, what a great, that's a seven or eight minute track, Heading for a Fall and Wear It Out, great album, there's a great album for sure, there's the band there, sounds amazing. Uh, 2021 release, 2021 release. And I uh, just had to get this one. One of the greatest live albums ever. Uh, this is uh, Live and Dangerous by Thin Lizzy. I don't have to explain how good this one is. You all know this one. Uh, original release in 78. Recorded in London in 76. In Philadelphia and Toronto in 77. You got Jailbreak, Emerald, Southbound, Rosalie. Dance in the Moonlight, Massacre, Still in Love with You, Johnny the Fox Meets Jimmy the Weed, Cowboy Song, The Boys Are Back in Town, Don't Believe a Word, Warriors, Are You Ready, Suicide, Shalala, Baby Drives Me Crazy, and The Rocker. Fantastic stuff. And finally, maybe the best of the bunch from my, uh, one of my favorite hard rock bands from uh, the British 
hard rock, classic rock, uh, the great Uriah Heep. Um, I've shown you this one before, but this is kind of going to be a mini review. I love it. <laughs> I just love it. It's the 12 out of 10. Um, Chaos and um, Color. Uh, 2023 release, or 25th studio album. Um, it's got everything you want with Uriah Heep. It's just as good as anything that they put out. Uh, Mick Box does, uh, sounds just as great as he did way, way back in, um, when did these guys form? 69. Uh, you got uh, Mick Box on guitar, Phil uh, Lazan on keyboards, Bernie Shaw, wow, vocalist, amazing stuff, Canadian. Russell Gilbrook on drums and Dave Reimer on bass. If you don't know this album, check it out. It's freaking amazing. It's so, so good. There you have it, guys. <laughs> There's some eight great, uh, fantastic albums that I picked up. Uh, I'll be back again uh, in a little while with my From A to Z, uh, still featuring the G's. Have stuff a great rest of the day. Love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.